Well guys, the reviews for Hawkeye are starting to trickle in, and we're seeing mostly positive reactions. There's a few mixed bag and a couple negatives, but it mostly seems to be positive. So let's talk about the mixed feelings, the good, the bad, and the whatever else. Well, the good news is here, if you're looking for a Eternals level disappointment, if that was disappointing to you or you agreed with the critics, this doesn't seem to be going that way. It's being received a lot more positive. Now, of course, it's just the first two episodes. And generally across the board, the best thing I could say, even from the negative reviews, is the chemistry and the characters seem to be the highlight. Now, of course, when you go to a Marvel Studios anything, I think that's the first thing you look for. You got to love these characters because you're going to be spending a lot of time with them and not just this project, but other projects as well. So that seems to be a pretty good, uh, you know, indication that if you're looking for more, if you're looking for more Clint Barton, if you're looking to like what they're going to do with Kate across the board, that seems to be generally very well received. Now, a couple of things I've seen is calling out the flow of the show and some of the action set pieces. There's a few things I noticed that specifically if they go into the details of how they're cut, that there might be a few editing errors or missteps here or there. But again, this isn't anything new when it comes to comic book shows, because especially when it comes to frantic action, this tends to happen and sometimes only the keen eye can pick up on it. And this is definitely something we've seen in pretty much everything comic book related from films to TV series. So nothing really shocking here. The one thing I will say that did surprise me was everybody saying that the star of the show definitely automatically goes to Kate Bishop. Like Clint almost seems like an afterthought in his own series. And that's what I'm getting across the board. People just say that she is tremendous and automatically steals the show, which honestly, I probably should have expected that. And I think many people did, but I just didn't think it was going to be so quick. I figured it'd be something like, okay, by the end of the season, we're like, okay, great. Here it is. But generally, everybody seems to like praise Haley Steinfeld. So that's awesome. Now, I will also say on the also negative side of things, one thing I saw was uh, pacing issues. Specifically that the way it read to me was almost the Netflix model of Marvel shows where there seems to be slowdown in some episodes that almost comes to a crawl. And who knows how people are going to react to those because that's up to you, right? Sometimes I think those moments worked in the Netflix shows, but largely they were just buying time. Hopefully that's just these early episodes, but we're going to find out for ourselves very soon. So overall, the reviews seem to be overly positive. A few negative mixed feelings on there, but nothing that's as bad as Eternals if you were worried.